couple of fits to kill myself. And it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So now I'm sitting there, not living and not dying. And wow. My son stood me to promises almost 17 years ago. And the rest is history. I'm proud of you. On this stuff, there are two things stronger than us on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You may be in jail now. You may be in the street in trouble. If you're in trouble, mm -hmm. listen to what I have to say. Mm -hmm. There are two things on this planet more stronger than you. Mm -hmm. uh, the disease, you may not practice it or you may practice it. But if you're on, in trouble with your alcohol or your drugs, that's one power that's as, as stronger than you. There's another power that's stronger than anything you got put together, and it's God. Yes. You have to make that decision on a daily basis what power you want to listen to. Mm. It gets better with each day of sobriety. It becomes second nature by getting rid of your, 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 uh, your meditation. You say your prayers, so you put God first. You get rid of the clouds that may keep you one and not put God in first. And after a couple of years, okay. you second nature. So then God is first in my life right now. That's how it's got to be. And That's some people around this world who don't think he's they're still trying to get all the money and all the weapons and all the gold. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter because God is there with his arms folded. He sent the virus so that we can make a decision who's in charge. Hmm. So on a daily basis, we have to make sure that we know who's in charge on a daily basis. It's simpler than I've ever thought. So how long did it take you to come back to get and work again? After uh, less than a year. Yeah, listen, I've had a good reputation, but I had to come back about a year. Because okay. I did all the television. I did, you know, the, I did the, the Jim Garner's thing, Rockford Files, and right, the, right. You the Little House on the Prairie, and I did it all. What, Smith and Jones and all of a sudden what, I started working again. What about Watchman? Working oh, with Regina boy, now you get you get into you get into a that's my favorite character in the West. The most oh, successful wow. the, most, the most successful marshal in the West is Bass Reeves. B A S S R E E V E S. Yes, he was a black man except Long Ranger. Boys that all of the Gene Orchards and all the things copied Bass Reeves. Did Long see, Ranger? Yeah, I think he got the uh, uh, he was a marshal sometimes, yeah. you know, and he, got, he always got his man, including his own son. Wow. So that was, that was my son. favorite, you know, favorite miniseries. And all of a sudden they called me to play Reeves, Will Reeves. And, okay. and, the, and so I had to play this old man combination of, of Bass Reeves. And then and so I still have a little stuff to do with HBO because they were right and they were wrong. I mean, because they do the, the story of, of Reeves. They got to do it properly. But I was I able was to take to that, 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 that thing in that wheelchair and hang somebody. I said, that was so awesome. I did all that stuff. So I was very clever. And I got you guys, I caught you guys, you know, a few guys around the neck. But they got to, they think, is this strange that they want to do that series again? They've got six million people. And that should be on the show. That should be on HBO now. It should. There's nothing like it on television. Oh, nothing like it. What a, what a story. Bass Reeves. He always got his man. He always sometimes he was there with a with a with a mule and a donkey or a broom, but he always right. got his man. He was the fastest, most successful marshal in the history of the West. So you got so you you, you really enjoyed it then. You, oh, you I had, a, had a ball. I had a ball. Okay, and working with Regina King, what a what oh, a thrill that, that is. Since 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 uh, since uh, she worked with Tupac and Janet mm -hmm. Jackson, mm. the John Singleton movie. So Miss Congeniality, she's been going steadily in the right direction. Now look at her. She's only just begun. Very proud of that lady. Oh, she's amazing. She's yeah. just amazing. I saw on the cover today of something like called like Bad Sister or Bad Bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something look, like that. And, and she I takes like, she takes to her so naturally. Yeah. So she, naturally. The, the camera loves her, man. Oh, they love her. I love her too. That's my so favorite. you have won Academy Award. You've won Emmy Award. You've done television, film. Who haven't you worked with that you want to work with? I hope I hope Marlon Brando's still alive. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that, so be, uh, that would be a comeback. That'd be a comeback. Yeah, 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 tell them about it. That'd be a comeback, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to work but, with uh, him I'm looking him. forward to it. I might not potentially work with Pierce Brosnan this, this uh, January in Ireland about these okay. two veterans from, from the... Uh, the uh, the Normandy guys, mm -hmm. these veterans going back to, to celebrate Normandy. 
if that happens, that doesn't happen. But uh, there's, there's nobody who, who I do not want to work with. Some of the new kids. You ever worked I wish with I had worked with the kid that left us, uh, the kid that's, that's going to get an Oscar, uh, Chad Bozeman. Oh, gosh. Wow. How, Why how did he, great he, was he? He came and went so quickly. He was a meteor, man. Amazing. Everything he touched yeah. was amazing. Everything he touched. Everything he touched. Did you see 21 Bridges? Yes, sir. <sighs> yes, sir. This, yeah. guy, this guy was phenomenal. Yeah. Did you, 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 ever you got somebody who's going to get nominated who's probably going to win, maybe is um, the kid from the Spike Lee movie, the, the, the bald headed one, um, who's being nominated. Um, oh, he talked. Delroy Lindo? Delroy Lindo. That's a master. That is a master. Oh, yeah, he's been bad for a long time now. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's about Remember it. the Cider House rules? Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, um, Mr. Gossett, we have a bunch of questions folks are putting in the box. And look, may I ask you a few of those? Go ahead. Okay, let's see what the people are talking about over here. Someone just said, I love Lou. Thanks uh, for this gift tonight. Does heaven, do you have any untold stories that happened on a set of roots? Hmm. Well, untold. It's not the untold story, but it's the story that me and, and Alec, uh, Alex uh, tell on, on a speaker's tour. This tour about uh, me meeting uh, LeVar Burton. Mm -hmm. My best friend of the whole cast that I knew from playing poker and playing basketball and stuff was Vic Morrow. Wow. Okay. So, so Vic Morrow, God rest his soul, was my friend. So. They're getting ready to do that whipping scene. I tell this a lot, and so it's, 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 mm -hmm. I want it to stay alive. And I'm, I'm pretty responsible playing fiddler with a difficult uh, Uncle Thomas kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in setting the scene up, Vic Morrow comes up to me and says, I want, I want to, you know, I'm shaking, he shook my hand and hugged me. He says, I, I need to apologize in advance. <laughs> I didn't know what he meant. You know, I, I'm sitting there and I'm playing fiddler like a professional actor do. And there's a kid that I just met, LeVar Burton from USC. I mean, clean cut, playing mm -hmm. Kinte, doing the best he can, working his ass off. Mm -hmm. Excuse my expression, he was butt off. Yeah. And um, all of a sudden, uh, the guy starts saying, what's your name? And he said, my name is Kunta Kinte. And he gets this other slave to whip it. And something stopped me. I stopped acting. I see LeVar Burton, contemporary SC, being whipped. And I see this black man ordering from this man to whip him until he changes his name. This was going through in my system. I'm, I'm a method actor, so I was using it all, all this energy. Okay. okay. So then I see LeVar Burton being whipped. And then I see Kunda Kinte getting whipped. It's like, it's like a movie going back and forth. So by the time he's, and, and the tears are coming out of the kid's eyes, because this is his shot. Mm -hmm. And finally he says, Kunta Kinte, that's my name. And they cut him down. I, 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 I couldn't. So I got down and, um, I looked at Vic and I understood why he, he apologized. And I put the water on his wrists and I said, you know, the line was what you care. That white man called you, uh, Toby. That's not your name. Your name's Kunta Kinte. That's who you always be. Right? <laughs> so now I'm, 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 I'm taking care of this LeVar Burton, Kunta Kinte, and I look up at Vic Morrow and he's looking at me, still acting. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him and said, as an actor and as a fiddler, I said, there's going to be another day. <laughs> you hear me? It's going to be another day. And they kept it in. Wow. Wow. So Ali Haley talks about it, and I talk about it when I speak. That, uh, that, that the other day is here, right now. The other day is here. Now we have to realize that this is another day. We have mm -hmm. to stop fighting for our rights. Because mm -hmm. if we win them, it's less than we deserve. Wow. That's powerful. It's very powerful. Young people, they don't know, so they're in a trick. They're going to get their rights that they're fighting for. Mm -hmm. It's less than they deserve. They've got to go and do their research just like everybody did from France and Italy and stuff. They should go back because it's the first generation, first civilization ever recorded. They know how to, they, we've had slaves and we had the women in harem. But we also did some science. We also did some spiritual stuff. And, it, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and we're so, so powerful that we had to be made slaves. Because if we were allowed to express ourselves, we'd run things now. That's not that's not a that's not a, a fear. We'd have to they, they don't have to fear that because none of us on this planet can survive without one another. 
So that's that's absolute truth, brother. And I'm glad to hear that today too. So the right fear's got to go away. We got to hold hands. That's right. Save this planet and save one another together. So were were you a member of the Douglas Turner Awards Negro Ensemble Company? No, I was there before that. Five and a half years before that was the Blacks, the same building mm -hmm. with uh, Cicely, God rest that queen soul, mm -hmm. uh, James Earl Jones, Godfrey Cambridge, mm -hmm. Roscoe Lee Brown, Wow, uh, yeah. and Jacques, uh, Maya Angelou. That whole group. Uh, yeah, Abby Lincoln, Charles Gordon, Lex Munson, Raymond mm -hmm. Saint Jacques. And we did that for five and a half years. Now, you were in the River Niger? I produced the River Niger. You produced the River Niger. So did it do Broadway as well? Oh, no, I did the, no, I produced the movie. You produced the movie, the River Niger. Yeah. I saw the play in Chicago at, I think, called the Capitol Theater. And they mm -hmm. did a play in there. And I've never... The River Niger it. had Glenn Turman in it, Shirley Joe Finney. Mm-hmm. How great is Glenn Turman? We had I love that brother. I love Isn't that dude that amazing? He keeps on bouncing back up to the top. Wow. Wait a minute. Let me ask a couple more of these questions in here because we only got like seven more minutes. And I was wondering, you is there it. anything you haven't done that you would like to do? And when will we be getting the Lou Gossett story? That's, that's, that last question is not up to me. It's up to somebody who wants to do that. Okay. But, uh, if there's a part that I want to do, is I want to play um, African royalty. Okay, well you don't have to play, play one, of the, one, of, the king, one of the kings of the, you know, one of the kings of, of the uh, Ashantis or something. Yeah, I want to play. I want. I want to play one of those royalties. I want. I want. I want to feel what that feels like in that time to play uh, the, a king of Africa. Wow, I would like to an see... elder, an elder. An elder. I'd like to see that guy who's the richest man ever. It's an African who's richer than anybody. He was worth more than the billionaires today. And That's I can't right. think his name. I cannot think his name. It doesn't and matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What we used to do is meet each other once a month and trade uh, our donkeys for oranges and oranges for chickens and chickens for uh, spiritual advice. And then we'd split and be happy. Tell us about eracism. Eracism, it doesn't make sense for us to, 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 to think that any race is better than another. Removal from existence and any race is superior to another. We need each other so desperately these days. God has arranged that. And he's got his arms folded. Until we come up to that point where we get rid of the racism and the automatic assumption of superiority and save this planet, one another, together, then we're going to be all right. But racism still exists. It's, it's going on. So let's just left the White House. But, mm. uh, and we're going in that direction. But we need one another so desperately for anybody to be in charge. Do you plan to direct the hand? It depends. on. It's up to God. You know, to me. I have to, I have to communicate every morning through prayer and meditation. You know prayer and meditation happens. Yes. Every can I? And to not to I, be in charge. I'm not in charge. Man. Can I tell them your moving story from coming from Malibu to Atlanta? About that house, as, as oh, yeah. you correct me on this story, folks didn't really want you up there in Beverly Hills in that house. You had that property, you were there for a long time, and, and you know you weren't gonna move. No, but something moved you to move. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know if you made it clear to me what made you move, but it wasn't like a month after you moved that the Malibu fire came and burnt the place to the ground. That's right, and they had told me that I wouldn't get my money. I got three times as much money. I didn't lose anything. All my little emblems and stuff was in storage. I'm mm -hmm. sitting there doing the, uh, the, the, the watchman. And uh, they'd go into the fire. And uh, my house and my guest house, under normal circumstances, I'd be in the front, sleep. And my son and my grandson would be in the guest house, sleep. There's mm -hmm. only one way out. And we were not there. And I looked on television. My house was burnt to the ground. Only one way out. If that ain't God, I don't know who is. Wow, look at God. Yeah. yeah. Look at God. Look at God. So if there's one thing you want to leave us with, one thing that you want your fans to know about you as, as, a, as a black man, and as an artist, you know, and someone who cares about our society, what, what would that be? It's going to take mankind to save mankind. 
and there is no such thing as impossible. No such thing. That's that's good. Cause I was just thinking. Take the word impossible out the out the picture. I think we have to start out by killing all the white people. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. No. I know viewers are gonna run back and say, "Michael Kai." You know, the main the main word there. The main word there coming from God is forgiveness. It's we forgiveness. have no time. We have that's no time. right. I'm playing. We, we God, swallow that pill, and that's how we get our cancers and our high blood pressure. We can't swallow the pill no more. Mm mm mm. No. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna ask you two more questions. And I swear I'm gonna let you go. Two more questions. Go ahead. Um, how did how did you stay focused so long? There were times when I was not focused and I didn't like it. And it, and it, and it focused and, and it, it happened in my with my children and my work. And I, I could tell the first one to know I could tell that I was not focused. So I got uh, that's one of the ways that I stopped doing the, the drugs and alcohol because I couldn't focus. And my number one first love was the arts. So would I, you ever do a com I, I think this is a silly question because I know the answer. Would you ever do a comedy? Of course. Of course. Absolutely. You're right act. Of course. I'm looking forward to something like that. And Absolutely. you have a great sense of humor, so I don't see why yeah. not. You know? Will you well, ever so I'm going to may I close with a, with, with a story? Huh? There's three, three men standing in the line. Okay. Trying to get into the Garden of Eden. Right. They've got a guard up front and a wrought iron gate. And the guard asked the first man, he says, uh, uh, who was the first woman in the Garden of Eden? He says, it was Eve. Great big bang. He goes in. And he goes to the second man and says, who was the first man to go to the Garden of Eden? He says, well, it was had to be Adam. He goes in. That's the third man says, what did Eve say to Adam when she saw him in the Garden of Eden? The man looked at him, he scratched his head. Wow, that's a hard one. <laughs> That's fantastic. You brought you would do that you would do for me? That you would do now? Tonight? Of anything, yeah, any uh, monologue, a piece of anything. Mm. Not, not off the top, man. Okay, all right. Not off the top. There's some things I would, I would have to study. And I would imagine you must have done hundreds of monologues. So yeah. well, there's I can imagine. The, 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 main one, the main one, of course, we all know. Is from the Our Father. Gentleman? Huh? Our Father. Who art in heaven. heaven. Yes. Hallowed be thy name. That's a great monologue. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the glory and the power forever. Amen, Brother Lou. Amen. Woo! Man, thank you for coming on and doing this for me. I appreciate it. You ain't mm -hmm. tired, are you? There's no such thing. Huh? No, You're never no, going to retire. retire. You know, I know. God tapped you on the shoulder and said, you can, you can calm down a little bit. You might calm okay. down a little bit, but yeah. every time. Uh, I lost my leading lady. Way. She left me. Oh. My sister, she split. She said, I'll see you later. Mm. What a great one. What a great one. She is so great. She is so great. I'm, uh, I'm showing some of her pictures tomorrow on the morning show because yeah. I finally found a copy of the book. And mm. the book is sold out everywhere. But then I mm. went to Minnesota. And Minnesota had a copy at the airport. So yeah, that had to take quite a woman to, 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 to tame Miles Davis. You know that, right? Oh, my God. Wow. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't, like, I couldn't even see that. I couldn't even see that pairing. Yeah. I, I, feel I, like... I don't see that coming. So that's something so deep. Yeah. That's when said... me and Miles got together for a minute. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. In Malibu, we yeah. are. We start wearing those jackets, bitches rule and stuff. Right, right, right. Butterfly, right. all that stuff. The hair got wild. Sicily wow. did that. Mm. Wow. And so, so the young man, there's no such thing as impossible. Well, you're, you're living proof that nothing's impossible. You're 84 years young. You still got plenty of energy and light. And are you nominated for something? Is something coming up? I've not been considered. Okay. What's, what's the piece of work? What, what, the, what Cuban, show is the Cuban. Somebody just somebody threw something up just now about the Cuban. Did you tell a joke in the Cuban? I'm sorry. 
Did you tell a joke while you was in the Cuban? I'm I'm no. trying to look back here. Somebody just made a notation to the Cuban. The um, Cuban is a is his former uh, star of the, the nightclub in Cuba before Castro got there. Big famous nightclub, and he was the star of it. Okay. When Castro came in. His he went, and, so I had to go one last time to sing and play the guitar and fall in love. And so, so my life is complete. Call the Cuban. Well, I just pray that I have such a long and illustrious career as you get to work with so many wonderful people, you know. Some great people out there, great people out there. Some great, great people. people. And, and you, you know, you, you're back, brother. 17 years, man, and you're soaring. I'm very oh, proud yeah. of you. I'm not, I'm not in charge. That's right. I love you. You're my friend. You're a great That's guy. Right. I've seen them. I can't wait when I see you in and out of restaurants and airplanes. And you wait. You took me to still. I went to South City Kitchen because of you when I got here. Yeah, you got to to good restaurant, huh? You get them chicken livers, man. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't. I never ate chicken livers <laughs> until neither. you took me. No, until no. you took me in there. I'm like, man, I'm not eating no dog on chicken liver. Yeah. They brought that out there. Oh my God! It just melt in your mouth. Yeah, it melt in your mouth with the oh, bacon. Yeah, the Lord have mercy! It sounds just taste just like grandma. I love it. I love it. God bless you, sir. Peace. I thank you so much. Have Peace. a magnificent evening and the rest of your wonderful, wonderful life. I thank want you to get three more Academy Awards, please. I, I talked to you. I got it. I got one of everything. There it is. A Tony. You have a Tony. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. So you have a Tony, an Emmy, an Academy Award. What's yes, that? The, the Tony is the best newcomer. Wow. Over James Dean and John Kerr and Ben Gazzara. The best Man. newcomer. And 1953. They seem like the kind of guys will beat you up if they lost. Both no, of them. Yeah, no, they, well, we, 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 we play softball. I'd be in the softball. <laughs> God bless you. God bless Thank you, brother. You, Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lewis Gossett, Jr. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Later. Okay. And the flash right here with us, y'all, at the okay. Michael Kaya Superstar interview. Wow, wow, wow. We're sitting here with legends. Look at us sitting here with legends. Okay.